Okay guys, so now let's see how can we configure the web app we created for our uh, web map. So here we have this item here, which is a web app that we created for this map. Let's open the item details and we will see that we have the option to view the application or configure the application. And what we will do is we will open configure application. And when we open the configure application, it will open uh, the template for this application for us. And it will give us the option to uh, customize and change this application. So here we have our application, how it will look like on the right side and on the left side here, the part that I'm changing right now, that's where we will configure the application. And after we finish the configuration, we will save it and then we will launch it. And when we will launch it, it will look exactly like how we configured it. And this is how it will look like. So this is the final result for your web app. But here you configure it using these options right here. So let's start by the first option. Here you have the general tab. Here you can change select the web map. As you remember, we created this web app for this specific map. But what if you want to change the web map you are using inside your app, you can come here and change, select a different web map and your web map will change. Here you can change the title and this is the title for your application. And the title is automatically taken from the web map, but I can change it here and say my first web app. And that will change in here when I click save, you'll see that it will reflect right here. And at any time, if you made any changes and you click save, you can click launch to open it in a new tab, or you can go to the tab that you have. And once you click refresh, it will reflect the changes you just did, but make sure that you saved this changes. So let's go back here and see what else we can do. Here you can add a subtitle. Here you can add a details. So here you have a details window that show up like that. We can update it and say, this is my app details and you can use HTML to update this one. And now when you view the details, you will see that it changed it and you can add pictures. You can change the text. You can use all these tools right here to customize your details however you want. Here you have the option to enable splash screen and splash screen is one of the windows that open the first time any user opened this application. So the, you can tell them some information, you can welcome them to your application. So for example, I will say here, uh, welcome. Uh, this is the title for the splash screen. And here I will say hello to my new web app. And when you go down, and here you define the button. So for example, we will say close and we will save that. Let's see how that will look like. So now I saved the splash screen and the splash screen will show up the first time anyone opened this application. As you see right here, we got this message say welcome. Hello to my new web app. So you can define this message in any way you want. You can add pictures, you can add images, you can add a video, you can add a URL, you can tell them about what this application is about and what is the data they are going to see in this application. And this message only show up when you open the application for the first time. So that's how you can define the splash. And here you have the option to add text for your accessibility. So the application will say what you are going to write here instead of someone, maybe someone is blind, they cannot read. Uh, it's a good thing to add for the people who have uh, disabilities and they cannot see your map. They can hear what you are going to type right here. Uh, so that's set for the general. Here you have the theme option where you can change the colors. So for example, I can come here and change the header to red and the text color to uh, black and the button icon color to blue. I know I'm using like different colors, but I'm just showing you uh, how it will look like. You can change any colors you want. And here, for example, you can add a logo next to your title. So here I will say ArcGIS Mastery. And I will add this logo URL. This is the logo for ArcGIS Mastery. And here, the last option here, you can define the layout for this options right here. You can add it as a tool sidebar, or you can add it as a menu bar, or you can keep it default with uh, rounded corners. So let's make it default with rounded corners and see how that will look like when we save these changes. Or you can also customize it and write your own CSS uh, to customize how your toolbar will look like. 
and the next tab here we have is the options where you can define what tools you want to show in your toolbar so as you see here here you can say show pop-up content panel instead of the pop-up window so that means when someone identify any feature and instead of showing this pop-up window it will show up on the right here and show up as a panel so what i will do right now i will enable all the options right here and enable all of them so we can see how that will look like on our map so i will enable the legend measurement tool overview map and this is the options we have on here and add embedded options and i will enable the editor so people can edit my layer as well if i want to give them access to that and i will add the print i will add all the options for the print add the legend to the output print and here you can define what specific tool you want to make it uh, selected by default when someone opened the application for the first time so I'll keep that none but you can choose any option so let's say I'll choose edit and here I will select add toolbar labels so here we added all the options we have right here and here the last tab here it's the search and this one is used to configure when someone search in this text box right here they type something uh, which locator service will be used to locate what they are looking for uh, so we will keep it the default so this one is using arcgis world geocoding service and this will allow you to search anywhere in the world for any city any street any address or any kind of place if you kept this selected also you have one of the layers that is auto theft on this map that have locator enabled with it so we can enable this one as well and here you define what is the default geocoding service or the locator service you want to use for your search and we will keep it as default and here you can create a custom URL parameter and this option allow you to add a parameter to your URL when you open the application so you can for example search on a certain layer and zoom to a certain feature so let's see how this works so for example if I have my application here and I have the URL for my application right here I can add a parameter let's say for example here uh, day of week equal I can type Sunday and what this will do will search into the auto theft layer for the incident or the auto theft that happened on Sunday and the way to configure that is by coming here and say my parameter name will be day of week as I have it right here so this is the parameter name and it have to come after a question mark so here's the parameter name day of week and I will search into the auto theft layer and here it asks me which field do you want to use for the search I will say use the day of the week and when I say save now we saved all the changes we did for our web app and I'm sorry about the colors it doesn't look nice so let's go back here and I change that color because this red is very bright so let's make the background uh, gray and make the text color white I think that will look better and let's save it that looks much better so right now we saved all the changes we did so let's go back here and refresh this page but I'm not gonna add the parameter right now I'm gonna remove this and I'm just gonna press enter and you will see that all my changes will take effect on the application and if anyone is using the application they will see these changes happened in front of them now let's try to add our URL parameter to see how that will work so here as we defined it this is how it will look like with a uh, question mark but I made a mistake and I told you to add a question mark here actually the question mark for the parameters is right here and here we will add instead of a question mark we will add and sign so that will make sure that ArcGIS Online will open this application ID this is the ID for our application and it will search into the auto theft layer using the day of week parameter to search into the day of the week field and find the values that have Sunday so when I press enter here you will see that our map will zoom to the auto theft layer and will zoom to the first feature that have day of the week equal Sunday so here we have one of the features that happened on Sunday and this is the one that our query found right here so for example instead of using Sunday you can use a specific ID and you can find this feature using this ID and here we will close our splash screen and and you'll see that we have this feature selected and it have days of the week we can make our search parameter to be uh, incident number or we can change it to any other fields so we can make our search more unique 
but this is how the query parameter works on URL when you configure it from your application right here. So this is one of the options we changed it right here is to add this query parameter. Uh, now let's go back to our home or the extent we have and see what else we can do. Uh, as you know, we also uh, configured the search. So this will search into this two layers using the ArcGIS Warlick J coding service. So here I can search for Orange County and it will find me Orange County in California, USA, and here is Orange County. You can search for any city, country, address, or you can search for anything using this one. Uh, the next options we have here is the options, and this is the toolbar right here. And here we added the legend, we added the layers, we added the base map gallery, and we show uh, the label. Remember when we said here, add toolbar labels, that is showing the label right here, not just the icon by itself, but it also showing the label as well. And here overview map, you can open the overview map to see uh, where you are on the map. And here you have the measure, so you can do measure by point, by line, by polygon. Uh, here you have the details window, and we configured this details window. And here we have the share. So this one will allow you to share your web app, but it will show you exactly how this extent looks like. So if you share this URL with anyone, it will show the default extent for the map. But if you shared this URL with anyone, when you open it in a new tab, it will show exactly like how my map look like. So for example, I shared this URL and I opened it in a new tab and this is my view right now and I have this option here selected. So right now anyone who opened this URL will see the same view I have on my map when I shared this URL. And in order to know how this works, you will see that here we have another parameter created by ArcGIS Online that show the extent will equal and this is the Latin long for the extent or the center point for the extent. So when you click share and you copy this URL, this is a small URL for your web app and showing a very specific uh, location where your map at right now. So this is a good way to share your map or for example, you want to share this, uh, you have a problem right here and you want to share this view right here, you can just say share and you copy this URL or send an email and you send this URL to someone and say there is an accident happened in this intersection please go there and check the location just for a, as an example uh, so this is a good way to have uh, your map shared with the current extent here you can manage your bookmarks and here you can print your map so all these options we have right here coming from the configuration we added here so you can add as many options as you want or you can remove as many options as you want. So that's it for how can you configure your web app when you work on ArcGIS Online uh, public account. When we work on ArcGIS Enterprise or ArcGIS Organization account, you will see that we have the ability to create a web app using the Web App Builder. And the Web App Builder will allow us to do something like this, but with much more functionalities and so many different widgets that we can add to our map. So this right now is a really good thing to use. So just with uh, ArcGIS Online public account, without paying anything and without having any subscriptions, you can create web maps, you can add layers from shapefiles from your computer, you can create web applications and you can customize your web application and share it with anyone. And I think we covered everything in uh, ArcGIS Online public account. We covered the map, the scene, the groups, the content, all the options you have. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.